I know. Dude. When you started doing this, I was so oh, happy. This is all the single ladies. I am cracked beyond belief. Right you here. are so <laughs> cracked. Yeah, like you could not find <laughs> it. <laughs> even yeah, yeah. even if it lethal like that. <laughs> 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 like, oh. Feeling better than I ever been. Cairo in his bag, this beat is heaven sin Back up in my element, new whip Trunk up in the front, I whip an elephant It's all limo tint, that's how you Welcome back, Pam Happy to be back, man <laughs> <laughs> that's Yeah, crazy. homage joining off So you're moving down here That's the plan, yep You have Kinda a play just... scoped already? Yeah, I'm kind of looking, I was looking where Bose was staying, then I heard about this other building, kind of like 30 seconds to the left, <laughs> Roger's at. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. a nice one. Nice little convenient, you know what I mean? Kind of need the convenience a little bit. Little Come to the burbs. Briscoe? Briscoe, Is Prosper, that where you are? Yeah. Plano. Briscoe's you're in my old place. Somewhere. I'm literally in Pam's, yeah. I'm in Pam's well, old apartment. Yeah, I think I have one of your couches. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Wait, really? Because y'all left a whole bunch of yes, shit. Yes, we yeah, did. I, I, took, like, yeah. I took like one of your couches. I got one of your beds, I think. Damn. You got the Tempur-Pedic. No, I don't think I got the nice oh, one. Really? But I got one of your beds. I, got the, the I don't know what's you one. It's Spratt's in one bed. of the guest rooms. You got Spratt's bed, though. That's how bad he wanted out of here. Just, left just take took the no time. Just take it. Leave everything behind. I'm out of here. I didn't oh, have I took a full truck. <laughs> I didn't have a truck or anything I was moving into my new place, and Hector was like, yo, Pam has shit that no one's taken. And I was like, all right. Whooped on in. Imagine you had a Hector's good deal storage. then. Oh, great deal. Thank God I left. Great fuck no. No. <laughs> no, but great furniture deal. Silver lining for sure. I always wondered where those things ended up. <coughs> well, actually, they're at my other house. Oh, well, my fault. My fault. My fault. My no, fault. that's okay. The other place. <laughs> my other house. Yeah. Uh, so I thought Hector was going to be in this, so I had a question written up for Hex, but maybe people and Y'all were all 60-50, or besides Pam and I. It was filthy there. It was we filthy. know everything Disgusting. about Hector. What do you got? Uh, how did the scuff house come to be, and what was the, uh, and was it always scuff, or were there other options to explore besides, like that as the title sponsor of the house? I don't remember what other title sponsors were there. That's we above were, my pay grade. Well, we were already so closely like with scuff at the time. I don't. Jim Shark. Maybe Jim Shark. Yeah, Jim Shark. Was big. We were yeah. big on. I mean, right. I'm looking at some of the monitors right now, and yeah. everyone's got Jim Shark on. Yeah. We just I Jim Shark was like brand new, I feel like. Dude, where's my cut? We, we made that shit popping. I remember the guy came. Saying? Remember we took, him on <laughs> the, we took him on the ride, the CEO, like the young kid. Ride where? Around the scuff house. Like, or I did. I think me, Hex, and somebody, we took him in because he loved uh, Mercedes and had the, the C63. He wanted to ride in it. Really? That was Still like, whipping that, by the way. That was the guy. Nice. I love it. How's it doing? Great. Still had it? How many miles? Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. You put like, like 1,000 miles only on like it? like 36,000. Wow. What? Pretty that sure you bought it at 35, which is impressive. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like eight years ago. <laughs> no, yeah. maybe like I mean, maybe 40, but I don't drive ever. Yeah. And right. if we road trip, we don't road trip. Yeah. Ever. We road trip hex drives. Yeah. We're going good. fishing or some shit. I don't remember how the scuff house. I remember, no, I, I just I remember being in the living room. Remember we had that whiteboard up on the wall and oh, we were yeah, like, yeah. we were writing down people that we would want to like move in. To either that house or a new house, and that's mm. where we came up with you. Like we wrote down Pomage, and everybody was like, "That's the one." Like it, it checks all the boxes, <laughs> yeah. and we called you up, and you were immediately like, "Yep, I'm coming." Yep, I'm like, yeah, okay. yeah. yeah. I think I text, like FaceTime, FaceTime. you were, or something like that. It was a FaceTime. Yeah. I don't even think I was familiar with you at all, but I was just like, he seemed pretty cool off that. I just remember That'll seeing work. you in like Crim's vlogs and all that. You guys just going back and forth, just bantering. Just I don't even know how I got there. <laughs> <laughs> how I ended up in the house. I don't but think I, any of us really remember. I mean, I have like the six. Say, I remember sixty fifty because like obviously the competitive team, but I don't remember moving into McAlpin. Well, I I remember moving in. I remember. Oh, remember? Yeah. Did I you? I mean, know? I remember. I don't you? remember how. Well, I, got I think there, you though. came. He did he come in he, late? Yeah, he moved in late. So that's probably why. Yeah. Moved I in on his terms. Yeah. <laughs> but I got the but I got the basement. You Actually, the no, I got theater. the upstairs yeah, room. The, so many Dude, people rotated through that house. The basement the kid would just show up. Yo, I'm staying. Like what? Proofy came <laughs> through. Do I have a list of everybody that uh, that lived there at some time? Let's hear it. All right, uh, Pam, Bose, Seth, Flame Sword, Big Timer, Crim Six, Maniac, myself, Formal, Lethal. Snake bite. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Killer. That basement, like, 
Yeah. Yeah. Like Will, I bet didn't even know. Like no. yeah, say you've already the named some of them. Even know. I remember like Frosty, uh, Assault, uh, Stellar, Aaron Create, Mixwell, Ace, and Kenny Bounce. Kenny Bounce. Kenny, Kenny Bounce, Bounce had Bounce Will's room. <laughs> yeah. Somehow, say, I don't even know who that is. Yeah. I don't even know. <laughs> he had your room. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was master. speaking for that room for years. I don't think I lived there at that point though. There's no, no way. No, no, that, was, that had to have been towards the end. Forgot Sprat. He has. Brat. He had his room too. Sprat had, I forgot Brat? Sprat. Yeah. We did it for like a month yeah. and a half. Wait, how'd they get, is this when I was in the city? You must have been in the summer. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, he man. was so happy to have your room. I don't think you I understand bet. how big of a fan James Sprat is. Oh, because it was you. my room? Yeah. Really? Yes, Fuck, yeah. It's mutual. He was Love livid. <laughs> he was so ecstatic to be staying in your Let's room. Let's get Sprat That's back right. too. Sprat, move back to Texas, man. Yeah, Sprat's Full here, reunion. Full on. Full reunion. That was the... That was the whole reason Pam's gone. Once yeah, he got my guy. screwed over with that. Oh, don't get me started. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. What Pam, happened? Get Pam started. It. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever the, we moved the scuff house down to here and then like couldn't get Sprat's visa or something. Yeah. Oh. And then so and they just like torched Sprat's time for yeah, like yeah, a yeah. year. Yeah. How they do. And then Pam no rage quit. Yeah. Like, <laughs> Fuck this. And then your place, we had it branded out as the scuff pad. Oh, yeah. So nice. Their old house or their old apartment was supposed to be the scuff pad. Like S, and then it was like a little uh, scuff, little D pad, and then P. Really? Nice, it was fire. Brand it's such a I good forgot, job. I forgot, I forgot about that. Across from the movie theater. <clears throat> yep. The branding goes crazy. Scuff pad. It was nice. Yeah. Never happened. It was a nice <laughs> place. I remember walking in there and I was like, what the fuck? I didn't know there were two, yeah, two floor floors. apartments. Yeah, two floors. Death plus Pomage? Right now? No, not right not now. Not anymore. We gotta wait. We gotta wait. Now I have a fiance. Yeah, let's do a house. No, all right. I Let me move that. in. All right. I no one get my bed down. back. You know. I no mean, one. Uh, no down. one. <laughs> no one to be down it's either. It's a very, oh, very I mean, different who? time now. I'm mean, gonna make it happen. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's just there. I'm there. I turned twenty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but would y'all ever do a house? I bet Pam would. I wouldn't do a house again. No. Really? No, nah, I'm cool off that. I love you guys, but I was I was thinking about that this morning when I woke up for some reason, like knowing I was gonna do this, like. What if I woke up 9 a.m. and like it was a house full of people again? I feel like I'd be stressed. A little bit. You think? Yeah. I just like privacy. Just That's the big thing. No. And quiet. Yeah. You just like, hear my I, baby crying downstairs. You're like, shut it. up. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, it's crazy looking at Hex on this video because he, he is like. I didn't like, even know that was playing. He's mine and Nick's age in this video. Damn. He had to be like 32, Damn. 33. Right what? Yeah. Did you just. I didn't know. I just. Thirty-five. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's like 34, 35 there. Cause this is before cause the 36 year old phenom thing yeah. was twenty six. Yeah. Right? yeah, this is yeah, 2015, It's a little bit older, but not much. You're about to be right Hector's there. age Hex when we were at the house. Years ago. <laughs> Dude, that is like crazy. it's setting in now. <laughs> like he's been clutching ten years ago. Like yeah. fuck, man. I only got what, five more years to step it the fuck up. I mean, he like started this shit when he was what, 29 with a kid with a one year old. Yeah. That's crazy. But yeah, enough blowing smoke up his ass. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Thanks Pam, for showing up. Pam, what was it like from your uh, point of view when you get the FaceTime and then you realize that you're moving down to Chicago? Like, what was that transition? like? I mean, this is when I was like always watching like the 6050 has vlogs. And just seeing it outside that POV, like everyone just streaming all the time, being in the same room, seeing Bose like with the vlog and then like Proof once in a while and Mike, Big T was there, I think. And it was like, knowing that was gonna happen was like a dream come true, to be honest with you. I look back at that house and I tell every single person who wasn't just in that house, like what it was like to live there. And it was just like a kid's, a gamer kid's dream come true, to be honest with you. Like, yep. yeah, start to finish. And it was at first. Nowadays, <laughs> if we if we moved into a house, we would just deteriorate. You're saying our Bro, age? We, friendships no, all, if we like up. moved into a house now, like yeah, yeah, it would be just nonstop debauchery. Why do you say that? Because we all go out now. We all like to drink. Like back then, we didn't really drink that much. Yeah, like. Nah. It yeah. would just not, no one would be working. <laughs> we yeah. over that. Like yeah, imagine yeah. our team, if we like move back into 6050, me, you, Nade, Merc right now. Oh, it'd be madness. We wouldn't do shit. No. We would do nothing. Nothing would get done. Obviously minus responsibilities. It wouldn't even work for you, but it would just be. 
I mean, we tried it at Blaine Blaine Drive. That was kind of the the fake hat. That was the last attempt. That was the last attempt. I I respected the last attempt. Yeah. What was that like? I was. It was weird. It was weird. We all lived there. It was was kind of cool though. Myself. It was us Us, four, and then Mike, Mike, Aaron, and oh my god! I remember going there one time. Yeah. I walked in. You guys were showing me around. Uh, we opened up the theater room. It was a theater room, right? Yes. Yeah. And it just. Oh, <laughs> damn. <laughs> that theater, was like, oh, yeah. that theater was room like, was oh, the spot. Yeah. I was yeah. like, oh, my gosh. Like, the whole house reeked. Oh. Then I opened the door. No. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I opened the door to the theater room, and it was like a tsunami just blasted me <laughs> in the face. You could see the smoke rolling at least out. He didn't open, <laughs> at least he didn't open the garage door. Oh, remember? Oh, my God. Dude, remember we was, had tr- a that was dump the spot. How did Twice, he, bro. How did that know, even get to that I have point? no idea. Like, were we they not taking our garbage? What happened? No, we, we, I had, remember. we had to call 1-800-GOT-JUNK. Yeah, like what? An but entire garbage. That's when you know it's bad. That's because we were using too much truck. You guys had a garage. Like, dude, it was just too much. It was just too much. Yeah. Do you remember All there the would be like it, it, we, there would be like a bag of trash in the in the kitchen and we would just like hold our breath, <laughs> open the <laughs> garage door and throw, throw that shit in there. And close <laughs> yeah. the oh my god! I hey. forgot about that. There were little like fly traps like all throughout the house. I don't the, forget. That's how I knew I wanted to move out because I couldn't have coffee in the morning because by the time my Keurig would brew. Flies would just go in it and die. Oh, oh my god! Oh. And I was Are you like, serious? I go. That's how you knew. That's how you knew. I think I just broke my neck on that super mountain. Thing. Would you drink it? <laughs> Sometimes. Oh <laughs> no! That's how you knew it was coming to an end. It was yeah. bad. Just I mean, no one, no respect, no more. <laughs> that, no house one <laughs> like, that house was really weird because oh. there we made next to no content out of it. Besides oh, like that's optic, what I'm saying. besides like optic videos. Like yeah. I tried to do a few vlogs. I think Nick was in a GTA roleplay at the time, so he was streaming like nine hours. Now imagine now. Yeah, now. Remember, I, mean, I did like two weeks. Nothing of would get done. Trying to do like the YouTuber videos. Like we went to that abandoned oh, like yeah. mall. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And they were they were popping. And then I was just like, I don't want to do this shit anymore. Yeah. <laughs> was it scary? Like, no, no, it wasn't just... scary. I mean, we did run into a homeless guy that like fucking. I don't think he chased us. Oh no, it was the security. <laughs> oh no, we were in that mall, uh, and there were like, yeah, and there were like people in like the stores living. Yeah, there, they were sleeping there. It was. Oh my god, it was strange. Yeah, I would have been sketched the fuck out. Yeah, that yeah. shit was kind of sketchy. People know? sleeping in old stores, like yeah. I would have been sketched. Pitch dark mall, like it was. Like, like Stranger abandoned. Things. Have y'all seen the new Stranger Things? Going to a mall and shit. It's abandoned. Uh-uh. No. I no. Know. Last of Us. No, I don't. Oh, know. Yeah. Last. last. Of Us. Yeah, yeah. Do you remember that? Was yeah. it like that? Oh, so like, there's a mall in Stranger Things, but it's not abandoned. Yeah. There are aliens in it. I forgot. Wrong show. <laughs> um, so we move into the, the scuff mm-hmm. house, and Black Ops 3 comes out like four days later. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you guys remember this. So, like, everyone I think here is locked in. Nick's playing Halo 5 for the first time because he, he played late. Do you remember that? You started, like, hella late in Halo 5. Your teammates mm-hmm. would roast you. Wait, why? Why did I start late? Because you hated the game. Really? Yeah. Like it just comes out, I try it and I hate it. That but I'm com- is, imagine, like, so when a COD comes out, even now, like, I grow to hate them. <laughs> I, grow to hate them. <laughs> I grow to hate them, like, slowly, but if I hated a game off jump, oh, I, I mean, I, I You would retire? I <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> Sorry. I to be fair, though, it wasn't the game that made me retire. But yeah, I saw a, a, an interview with. Yeah, like, I don't remember starting late. Assault. We just did an unprocessed, Raj and I. What, I just wouldn't play? There's yeah, no way. There, Cle- Cle- there was an interview with Cleet oh. and Mike that were like, Nick hasn't. We're just now starting. And this is in the scuff house, like two months after the scuff house. And you're like, we're just now starting to scrim. And Nick is just now starting to play. And once Nick. What was I playing? Black Ops 3? I don't think you were Hell playing. Yeah. I don't know. I had yeah, to be yeah. playing something. Great game. Because I was crack playing something. Unbelievable game. Black Ops 3. Black Great Ops 3. game right there. Bro, I find we ran- took it for granted. I find random gameplays of like playing with some of y'all, like game battles or wagers yeah. or something. I'm like, I don't remember this at all. Those are some you of my turn? favorite videos. Feel- <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I was so turned. I feel like I like blacked out during the scuff house. Like you just like seeing all this stuff around here is it's, like, dude, It's a blur. Yeah. It is all a blur. Someone's it's like, I don't remember right now it. Enjoying it. Crazy Krim was there for so long. Yeah, Ian was there for You guys long. remember when we got egged? We got egg. Yeah, oh, yeah I, I do did. remember that. 
Really? Wait, was it? It was your room. It was your room. Was room. room. Was just getting smoked. Though. Was it? <laughs> no one else got egged. I got egged. Wait, they came from the back. Yeah, yeah they had to. Have. Oh. That's so weird. Like they were just that close in our backyard, just egging your fucking <laughs> library room. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> one time, I got out of my car or my truck in the or the jeep in the driveway, and it was like, uh, it was like. 10 p.m. and a car pulled up on our driveway and just yelled, uh, phase up, Pomage, you're a, you're a fucking, and then dropped a slur. And oh I was just God. like, and they yelled it at me. At you? And I was like, and then my first thought was like, I'm not Pomage. But <laughs> yeah, walk <laughs> yeah. walk inside. That's that, so people, strange. People would show yeah. up. People That's would good. show people up. People would just yeah. come to the house. Yeah, there were people on the lawn one night. I don't know if that was the egging night, but like my room was right by the front lawn. And I remember people like talking and like just Just right outside your room. Yeah, they're just out there. (laughs) I hope that guy's doing better. You did great. I hope he's doing better. better. I hope he is. I hope he's not. People need to start paying for what they did. (laughs) I hope he's not doing too much. We need to stop being nice. (laughs) Yeah, like. Fuck that guy. Yeah, fuck that guy. So yeah, we move in. Bose is trying to Bose is trying to find a team at the time. Pam's grinding. You're grinding. Uh, Will I think you're coming off a MLG contract? I think. Oh, the streaming thing. Yeah. yeah. So what was it like wow. getting getting off the streaming and back into like YouTube gameplays? Because you went crazy in YouTube gameplays for a bit. Yeah, it was it was better. I felt better. I mean, it was more work, but like the MLG contract. Whenever you have like, it was just a set amount of hours, and the pay was. It's consistent. And so I didn't really care what I was doing when I was on it. Once so you're was, on the contract, you're chilling. Yeah, yeah, you're like, oh, yeah, that was just, nice. As long as the stream's on. Oh, dude, I was. I mean, we had to nice. stream a lot, though. I remember my it hours. There's a lot of hours, yeah. My hours were insane. I don't remember exactly how many. I think mine was nine, 90 a month. Mine was, uh, mine was 60, though. 90 a month? 90 a month? I think so. Yeah. Oh, wait, no. Maybe it was. I don't no, remember. No, I think so it was. Ago. 90 a month. You proved, How many hours a day? You had the same deal. I don't remember. I Mine was proof. kind of fucking crazy, and I had to run six minutes of ads every hour. So yeah. I was just you playing and- The Witcher, like just. <laughs> like, I remember. <laughs> I was like, I had to get hours, so I just played like The Witcher, and I was just 10 hour <laughs> days, just six minutes, like every yep. day. But when I was on my Twitch contract, too, I was six minutes. Uh, yeah, but that. you had like, I remember you saying you had to get your hours in. Like, you, that was always your thing. So I gotta get my hours in. I gotta get my hours in. Gotta get my yeah, hours in. It was like, four, you were like, it was something crazy. Yeah, it was like 60 was like hours. No, it was like 45 hours a, a week or something. Something crazy. It was something ridiculous. Yeah. Something crazy. It was something yeah, because 90 hours is only three hours a day. But it on, was more than that. On top yeah. of that, though, I, think I was also was competing. Oh my God, was 90, 90 my hours. Six, maybe. Bro, I thought you said 90,000 a week. 90,000. What? I thought that's what he said. You said 90 hours a week? No, per month, I think it was. But 90 yeah. hours a month. Yeah, but yeah, now that I think about it, that doesn't seem like a lot. Yeah, there are. I guess you were coming off an of MLG contract too. Because the MLG con- contract kind of died mm. like, a, uh, like six months into the scuff house. Yeah. So well, I was still in California. Oh, for really? A bit of it. Were you? Yeah, I was in California for like the back end of it, I think. Yeah. Oh, wow. Back into the contract? Yeah. Yeah, I remember that. Wait, Playing when did you, so when did you move when did you move down to Chicago to Chicago and live in that apartment? I thought we were I don't remember. It was at well, least you like moved like to four Chicago or five months living in a, an apartment. I lived in an apartment. Yeah. Yeah. What the fuck? Yeah. I remember that. He lived by yeah, you uh, do. the haircut yeah. where Paris used <laughs> to There's cut. There's a few stories you'll remember. Really? Like yeah. what? Um, Can't say Seth it. if he wants to tell He lived by where Paris He lived where near like Paris? Like by Paris, his barbershop. I remember that. It was like towards that way. I wonder how Paris is doing. He doing? He was the man. He, he was, was the, the first man. optic he was, barber. He was telling yeah. me like his uh, plans. He was like, I'm going a, I'm to a become the Uber of haircuts. And I was like, hell yeah, haircut? run that. Great idea. I don't know if he ever ran that. I think he has a Damn. juice shop or something like that. It was a great time. Yeah, it was at least the moments are on YouTube. So when I'm old as shit. I get to go back and yeah. just bro. That's gonna be that's crazy when we're old and like just seeing this stuff. It's kind of crazy well, now. It's already yeah, crazy. it's already yeah, crazy. Like, yeah. I was saying before we sat down, like Roger made it look like we're about to die. Like where this is a flashbacks of our, our lives, funeral. and there's just Damn. like we're surrounded by screens that are just playing. I love it. Moments. I'm getting like little little tidbits, dude. Do you remember when Shazam, one of the top streamers, Shazam. top streamers in the world, came down to the Scuff House and built 
Nick's PC, PC for nine hours. I, didn't, I had no idea who Shazam was, but apparently he was like a big deal. You know, and I ordered a PC, but it was just, he at the time? At yeah, the time, I mean, he, went, it's, he, he wasn't like he is now at the time. Yeah. He, was he was just actually, like, com- he was coming off of like more of a controversy. He was still like one of the better players, right? Yeah. Like he was pretty known. And All I'm, I'm going to say, knew who he was, our yeah. CSGO team like that they ha- we had back then has aged very well. Yeah, what they they looking good. Yeah, yeah. Tarek. They still play? Uh, just as far as like numbers and stuff. Oh, Tarek's okay. the biggest Val uh, streamer in correct. the world. Yeah. Sh- Shaz is up there as well. Mm-hmm. Mixwell. Mixwell well does good. Mixwell is up there. Good. Shazam is up there? Still? I mean, Shazam I think is Daps like is doing rushing. well in CSGO as well. He's Daps is still coaching, I think. Is it Daps? Okay, maybe it was And Nath. then Nath is, Nath is doing really well as and well. And Rush, he's still competing, I think. Have, you seen, have y'all seen Rush he's, lately? He is he's jacked. jacked. Yeah. He looks like a... Like a Bodybuilder. Yeah. I mean, I actually have a question about that. Um, as far as like esports teams, how many of the our esports teams did all of our creators watch? So you <sighs> guys. I guess uh, after you retired is more of what I'm thinking. Wait, what's the question? Like, oh. how many of the Optic esports teams did you guys watch? Or Seth can answer this. Like Gears, Gears of War. Oh yeah, Gears. Was uh, cool. Mike and Nick's Halo teams. Okay. Um, the CS:GO team. Yeah. Uh, some of the t- the Rocket League team now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, that, I, mean, I think that's like a decent amount. Yeah, I feel like I was never a watcher. I never really got into not like watching faithfully, like our other but teams. I'll check in for sure. And that takes a lot, <laughs> dude. There will be times where I'm I'm doing a vision interview with Nick, and I just need this little like bridge gap. Of the story, oh, you would tell me what, and to I say. would literally <laughs> give Nick a script. <laughs> like the Gears team would just come back from a like, three-one <laughs> deficit to win finals, and you would just, or I don't know, something crazy. And then you would literally just tell me, or like you would ask me the question. I'm like, dude, I have no idea. Then you would say, just say this. Just say literally. Explosive. Did the people know that whole sh- vision shit was fake, <laughs> and it was scripted. No, if there was ever Nick on camera. Those were the only script. I mean, there was just times where, like, if Hector couldn't do the interview, I needed the I needed to fill the gaps, and so Nick would be. Do you ever remember? Sometimes I would be so like cracked and like, like we would do a vision interview at like four a.m. or something, just because like you would need something. I'd be like so cracked and like anxious and nervous, and it would take the inter like my answers would take so long because I would just mess up what I'm saying and repeat it. I remember one time it still sits with me to this day. I just kept messing up my answer and I tried to repeat it like 20 different times just to like get the right thing. It was probably yeah. like something you asked me to say and I just couldn't remember it because I was so cracked. It was just like, <laughs> dude, we were, dude, I was just like freaking out was in my in head. Mike's room. Like, I, I come on, forget. just get it out. It we would were, take like 40, 40 different tries. We were recording that in Mike's room <laughs> when you kept messing up. Yeah, also, we recorded your retirement in. The day, like after Seth moved out, his whole room was just yeah, empty. That worked perfectly. So we just had the theater, the theater. bottom room. No, the top no, room. The top room. Remember, Mike crashed your car. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, he said, "Fuck!" He just <laughs> came in the house. I mean, yeah. Mike I'm like, stuck in the car right there. Fuck was that? Remember when you fucked up my car? Like there was the uh, wheels. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Bro, I, I still something's not right with that. Something was messed up with your with the backup camera. <laughs> yeah, oh but I don't know. I don't know how I did that, but I ended up scratching Pam's beamer. Scratched the shit out of the And room. then like, didn't Mike do it too? Bro, back Scratch then, it? I think Mike did something too. I, I had no money. The last I time like, I ever, dude, there's no way. I'm yeah, just like I, it. yeah. I'm like, I think you make a good amount. Of money. <laughs> <laughs> like I felt bad for it about it, but like, yeah, I couldn't do anything about it, and I don't even know how it fucking happened. Remember I, when I, sorry, go ahead. I was going to say, I scratched this car. And then wasn't there a night where like two different accidents happened? Yeah, there I was ran a, into Ian's car one time. And then yeah, like Hex, Will, Will ran into, madness. I think Will ran into Ian's car and then Hex comes out to film it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then I'm filming for vision. And then Hex backs up into my car <laughs> Dude, like, as I'm filming. They <laughs> <laughs> were like, what the f- <laughs> what? Yeah, I remember. What I the fuck? Remember happened. when I finally got your car off you, and then I was like, I gotta drive it, and it was a snowstorm. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh yeah, you got trapped down there. Oh, you gotta go get I made it like two turns. <laughs> and then I, just, I just remember spinning out into a bank. Oh my god, you guys had to come and 
put you have down. To push it. it up or something. They had to put like uh, put like bed spreads. They brought, yeah. they brought <laughs> like sort of they brought bed sheets and they put it under the back tires because it's rear wheel and we tried to like get it out. I think we had to call someone to get it out. Yeah. I think and then we they were like, all right, you're gonna drive home, and I was like. Fucking mean drive home. This, that's why I'm in this predicament. <laughs> they were like, you, okay, you can drive back. Dude, we were so protective of, uh, of the house, of like where it was. We didn't want people to show up. And then one time somebody got stuck at the bottom of the driveway. It, during a during winter a, storm. A snowstorm. Snow and Will went out there and periscoped it. And that was on me, bro. He didn't know that periscope shows your exact location. Uh, really? <laughs> So that's how people found that. Wasn't it Bose's car? And I, I remember like pushing it up the drive. Oh, when Krim Krim got it up. You remember? Oh, he felt so like yeah. cool. He was like burning out in the yeah. snow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, out. yeah. Now he's a race car driver. Yeah, yeah. right. Sim driver. Yeah. At least he's living out his. At least he found something to. Like he's doing exactly like cool what he wants. Do. He's like yeah. actually competing in like the races yeah. and stuff. Sim driving. Yeah. That's dope. That's he's a whole he's living his life. That's good. He loves that. Yeah. Shit. Oh, he loves that. He used to wear the gloves. I remember the last time I oh, ever yeah. rode with him. What was that? The, the long road? M4, Schomburg Road. I know. You go over the railroad about. tracks. And Schomburg Road? It was the, uh, like the haunted road that we would go down Baron? to get to golf. Small Shoe Factory. Shoe, Shoe factory, factory Road. I think we were going to the movies one night, and bro, I was in the back with Ian. Swear to God, I saw the speedometer hit 150 on Shoe Factory. No. That little two lane road that's got like all the hills no. and shit. <laughs> Last time I ever rode with the guy. One yeah, yeah. He used to wear, he used to wear uh, gloves when he drove. Yeah, I remember a joint. Or it was the Alcantara. Like, I you're remember on the regular road. The Alcantara <laughs> steering wheel. <laughs> I remember <laughs> <the> gloves. <laughs> yeah. Joint joining and then randomly, I don't know, probably like getting Chipotle with Ian or something. And like we hop in his Beamer and he just has gloves on. I'm like, dude, come. You're driving like Ray-Bans. 45 miles per hour. Something about like not messing up his steering wheel or something. Interesting guy, Ian was. We rolled deep for a little bit there as far as like our vehicles. Oh, we, we had a nice little. Uh, yeah. And then there was, my, <laughs> there was my Jeep. I had my Jetta there and it broke down taking yeah. uh, assault to the airport. And then after that, we just like you just left gave it. it to like. Hex's dad or Jew's dad? Oh yeah, yeah. Just he just dumped it or something. Piece <laughs> of shit. <laughs> but I was broke. I didn't have no other option. Then you and you, then comes the hitch jeep. You drove my where jeep. Where everyone just how annoying was that? Everyone ever like I bet you would wake up some days and you would like want to go get food <laughs> and your jeep's, <laughs> my just, jeep's gone. just gone. It was just, just a like, community car. Fucking me and Lethal I, taking it somewhere. I would like I would wake up and like check YouTube and it would be like people vlogging <laughs> in my Jeep. <laughs> yeah. Just like, a thumbnail of like, like me and fuck? me and formal yeah. in your fucking Jeep. And then <laughs> your, big, your biggest videos is like you interviewing Seth while you're driving in my Jeep. No. I was just like or was, was it in, formal? One Maybe of the one or the other. I have one video with Seth where we did like a road, a trip, road trip back to PA. That was fun. Oh, that sounds fun. Yeah, it was like, it was a long one. <laughs> and Seth would not let me drive. Because he would just like, he couldn't, he couldn't just relax in the passenger. I think we tried it. but I drove like, the whole time? Yeah, I think so. Or I just think you let me drive a little bit, and then you're like, no, nah, I'm going to drive. I can't. Really? Yeah. How bad of a driver yeah. you are? He, well, he just, yeah. Maybe, maybe a little bit of both. But he just couldn't relax in the passenger seat. Bose, how did you, how did you end up? Uh, meeting Dirk and all that crew when we were down there. Um, like 20, I forgot, I think 2013, like randomly me, uh, I was, you know, gaming, obviously. Uh, Sap, I think he like randomly hit me up on Twitter or something like that. I can't remember. And then we like FaceTimed. I FaceTimed him like 2014 or something like that. And he was in a studio with Dirk. They were chilling. And then I didn't talk to him for like a year or two. But they were gaming randomly. fans. Right? Yeah, yeah. Like they were like into duty. gaming, They're yeah. Like and then um, <laughs> randomly we started like talking again. We linked up, and then that's really how. And we just were cool since then. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? That yeah, y'all crazy. became like best friends. And yeah. I remember like, you and Sap. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I remember you would start going down to where, wherever they lived. What is it? South side of Chicago. Yeah. I would hear you leave at all hours of the night because I was above the garage and I would just hear the garage. The, the garage just <laughs> <laughs> yeah. like Bose is going go. somewhere. Yeah, like You're just like, morning, just right, Bose, come on, man. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Be careful out there, bro. Those are long ass days. Those are crazy times. 
And then you, eventually it turned into us having like a party. I was about to say. And you, dirt coming, coming through. Do you remember yeah, that? Yeah, that was a wild one. I remember me and Formal were outside smoking a cig. And dirt came up behind us. And he's like, yo, you guys got a light? And we like, we didn't know who it was at the time. We like turned around and it, it was Dirk, and I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, why'd you sneak up on us? <laughs> Bro, you wanna, the funniest part is, is Blake is randomly at the house during the Dirk party. So Blake, Blake comes, comes out, and we're in the kitchen, and there's just people everywhere. And Blake, <laughs> Blake taps me on the shoulder and goes, yo, which one's Dirk? And I was like, oh, I, don't, I don't know. <laughs> and so we're scanning the, everywhere, and we're like, maybe that's Dirk. And like we couldn't figure out who he was. That was a wild night. And then and then night two, everyone tried to come back. Oh, they thought yeah. they were yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's hilarious. I was like, I Will, you gotta go tell that. these people to get the fuck out of here. Bro, like people were trying to come the next dude, day. Dude, there was a convoy. Like there was like twelve cars out front and they were like, There's a party here, right? And we were like, No. Oh, that was yesterday. It's last night. Oh, yeah. That's really how people live though. It's just every night there's just some kind of like somewhere. something going rap on. or something popping party happening That's in still some how mansion it is. somewhere. Like, there's something to do every night. Do you remember the day that uh, Young Thug almost came over? I think I remember. It was going to be Dirk and Young Thug yeah. at our house. Really? And I oh, that would have been chaos. I remember being like, what? like wait. <laughs> Will's gonna call the cops on us. <laughs> yeah, yeah Will, Will's probably not like we'll, Will's yeah, we'll gather in, in the kitchen, room. like talking and stuff. So we might have an idea of what's going on, but like Will's just in his room. I like Young Thug. If Young Thug would have came, yeah. I, would've... I, met, I met. I They introduced me to Young. I met Young Thug twice with them. I was at Boosie's house. That shit was lit. Boosie? All, three of, house? all three of them. I was at Boosie's house. Like Boosie, Sap, Boosie? Dirk, and his DJ. Yeah. What you know the Boosie? Fu- yeah. Oh. That shit was, bro. What no the lie. Fuck? His bro, land will. His Twitter videos are fucking. Hilarious. His land is huge. Is it in Chicago? No, it's in you Atlanta. You went to Atlanta, oh. right? That was his a, shit. Yo, he has that. like some land where you're like, you look, you're like, he it's made huge. It. It's big. It's football fields. Damn. With an S. Yo. It's nice, bro. I'm like, fuck. I need. I need to level up my yeah. damn life. And that was eight, eight years ago. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> 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 I remember. Uh, I remember Ian. Do you remember Ian left and went and got a hotel that night? That Dirk. <laughs> 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 That's the most Ian shit. Like, Ian left. He was, he was tell, so he was he, his car was trapped in the in the driveway because people were. Backed up, so he was like going around the party asking people to move their cars <laughs> so that he could go get a hotel. Just checking people out one by one. Like. <laughs> and then he was like, he was like, I remember him saying like, dude, I almost called the cops on us <laughs> because. <laughs> and then it will, I remember you shit. saying like, that I would thought about it. Serious I don't know. Problem. I had to be joking. Yeah, yeah, that would have been. He called the cops on us. Yeah, <laughs> that would have been federal <laughs> level that shit. Right there. shit. That's real. Uh, uh, that insanity. <laughs> <laughs> and since this is a Scuff House episode, it only makes sense to talk to you guys about the Scuff controllers. We've been with Scuff for over a decade now, and they made all of these moments happen. They made this video happen, and uh, we have just dropped a new evergreen controller. It's beautiful. This is actually the exact controller I use. I use the Xbox one. Um, so definitely go check it out. Get a little bit of uh, optic memorabilia uh, while we reminisce on old times and new times to come. Uh, Cause we'll be beside, we'll be side by side scuff probably until the wheels fall off. So go check out a controller, grab your own and uh, get to gaming. I'm there surprised was, the weed. I'm surprised no one figured out about weed. My was, number was one thing. Lot. I walked into the 6050. The first thing I, I opened the door. I'm with my girlfriend at the time, and I opened the door. The first thing Nate says to me: "Welcome to the crib. If you want to smoke, the weed's in the basement." <laughs> <laughs> I swear That's to God. The first thing he said. I swear to God. Did Nate even thing. enjoy smoking like that? Uh, he did, but he said I heard he would have he like have panic attacks, attacks and shit. Yeah. He did for a while, yeah. It was a few months. That's how I was for a little bit. Sometimes I would like randomly join you guys, just take a few hits. I'd be like, all right. Then I go up to my room, take a Xan. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> what is it? They lace this shit. I know it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I just lay in my bed, they try to it. sleep. I mean, it wasn't until like recently when people started. I think Hex did a <clears throat> golf ha- or a sixty fifty like eavesdrop. And that's when Nade told like all the stories of oh, the swatting shit. and all that. Now no one gives a fuck. Now no one cares. But if you if you got caught smoking weed back then, like 
Our it fans would have like told the cops. <laughs> <laughs> like, the, hey, they yeah. would have like <laughs> told yeah, the yeah, FBI. Yeah. Yeah, 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 probably. It was weird back then. Uh, I remember one time there was a there was a smooth comp we did where we tried to play foosball but for real. And in the backyard, we're all tied together with ropes. And we're kicking the soccer ball and trying to get through. And Mike was goalie. Bro. <laughs> That was annoying. Did anyone score? So yeah, we eventually scored, but Mike just kept kicking the ball as hard like as we're possible. Like we're all like, <laughs> we're all like, <laughs> we're all like three to like five or three to like eight feet away from each other, just in this box. And it's like we're just trying to kick the ball on that goal or that goal. And like Mike's on this side, and every time it gets to Mike, it just slowly rolls him. He just drills it as hard as he fucking can. And we're like, dude. And it's hitting, like, it's hitting Rush, and Rush is like, ow, dude, yeah, like, just, I'm just, I didn't sign up for this. He's just <laughs> drilling the ball when we're two feet away from him, like, tied to something to where we can't even, like, dodge him <laughs> like that. Like, dude, just aim for the goal. He's not even aiming for anything, just trying to kick it as hard as he can. I remember the shoots where we would have, like, uh, the inflatable uh, obstacle course. Yeah, I'd yeah. be waking up at, like, 10 a.m., and it was literally right outside my door because I was in the basement. Oh, yeah. So I'd wake up. Just, and I'd walk outside and I see that I'm like you gotta be I'd, I'd look at formal he's in the other room I was like you gotta be fucking kidding me like like <laughs> those were good I, I enjoyed those type of shoots I did. The, the smooth yeah. comps were always pretty those were fun. dope because we did it at home some we yeah. would be like what's that video right there are we is this for dude like, that who video I, bro <laughs> whose video is this for bro like, that's a that's a smooth comp Bro, this that was a smooth comp. That video is filmed That's at fire. 4 a.m. You're like, looking kind of fucking zesty there, Nick. Am I kind of swaggy? I didn't zesty, but Your video zesty. looks fun, though. Dude, thing. we were, we were, I, so this is, <laughs> this is after, this is after Jay comes on board. And so, like, Jay takes a bunch of the Jay's responsibilities. Idea. He takes a bunch of the responsibilities. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I remember this clip. A bunch of the responsibilities off of, like, Hex as far as, like, what brands we're looking for. And so. And it was this. So smooth comp was, or brisk was like, hey, you owe us a smooth comp, and it's got to be done by the end of the week. And this is like Thursday night at 4 a.m. We drove <laughs> to get Just Dance at a 24-hour Walmart yeah. and came back, and y'all three were the only ones awake. So I was like, I have to film this. This is with the you type guys. of shit that you would have to deal with. <laughs> yeah, and Fuck no, you. when you started doing this, I was oh, so look happy. How this is all are. the single ladies. I am cracked beyond belief. Right you now. are so <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, you could not find <laughs> it. Yeah, even really if, is. Even Look if, at Lethal like, it, yeah. the teacher was like, going crazy. Even if I was absolutely hammered, I would not be able to do that. Like, that was a different type of... Bro, you went through some struggles to, or to pull off videos like that. Oh, oh or yeah. For, I mean, for sponsors and stuff. Like, you were grinding. Well, at the, at the very beginning, it was just like... With the resources was, you stuff had. Stuff was fine. And then we get Brisk, and Brisk was pretty fine because Hector was super on board to like he organized all the all the smooth comps, and then I just like edited them and stuff. But like towards the end, it got it got like like when whenever like the the brand started putting pressure on us to like uh, that's when you get the weird videos, like the flying the drone helicopter through the yeah. living room. Those were improv big time. Yeah, I some, can't tell you how many times I would like, cause I would use the shower downstairs. Like, oh uh, yeah, that was a nice And shower. I would just walk, it was the best shower. Dude, that was nice. The best shower, that shower in the house. Yeah. Fire. And I would always just walk past you, like, because you would be up editing vision and or smooth yeah. competition. And you had just pulled an all nighter. Yeah. And I'm just like, yeah, what's good? That's how it's crazy. <laughs> You're just yeah. like, it's so funny when we first moved there, oh, everyone Hitch would, would go down so there close. to like shower. Like yeah. their shower room, everyone would just go down there. Because it was my I know only Hitch shower. Was pissed. You guys all yeah. had showers. Yeah. Because it was my only shower. I would lived in a car. Everyone loved it. But everyone loved it. And his bathroom's yeah. just so You can like <laughs> wet towels <laughs> everywhere. You could oh, turn off the lights, hit the lights, the shower lights would come on. It'd be like dark in the bathroom, but the shower is light. Fucking and you Barbie. hop in and like close the door Different so kinda. you're like in a steam box. Yes. Mm. But, that, but that bathroom didn't, the lock didn't always work. Yes. Oh yeah, I remember. Yeah, you got a story I remember about a story. That, I remember. <laughs> yeah, I got, I got walked in on. Yeah. <laughs> Not what? by any of us. Uh, cranking? No. Yeah, I was cranking. By who? Jude's dad. Rest in peace, man. What a what a guy. I mean, yeah. how did you react? Yeah, rest in peace. I was man. Rest in peace. frozen. Bro, I mean, cause <laughs> Did you stop? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> For a split second. I mean, I, <laughs> like he saw what was going on. I hope not. 
he walked in and I used to put. You walked in. I, <laughs> so this yeah, is, yeah. I would start editing at like 8, I would, 8 p.m. or 8, 10 p.m. And I would finish editing at like 11 a.m. So at 4 a.m. things are rendering and I'm like, well, you know, I can probably go have a little bit of me time. It's right behind me. So I go in there and I would put the, I would close the door and then put the laundry basket in front of the doors. Right. And so it's, oh, I guess it's like 7 a.m., 8 a.m. And the, the door just opens and the laundry basket falls over and I'm like this. And then he goes, sorry. I was like, oh. And then I was like, I can't tell anyone about this ever. But you eventually <laughs> you told us. Well, 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 you probably did it for a long time. I think I only told you. Really? Remember he used to come through and just throw our weed away? Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, he's oh a savage, god. bro. He's a savage. So oh, man. I think Hex or Hex probably told him to do it. I'm sure he did. Hundred percent. You think? Told him to throw it. We spent it away. a lot of time yeah. in that garage. Hex probably a lot told of time. him. Get out of here. Get, get these motherfuckers out, out of here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah instead gonna... of like a college experience or like yeah, I got that. And it was even way like, I don't know, something like in because in high school I was just gaming didn't do really any college shit so it's like that was my sort of like frat ish yeah. <laughs> with the boys 100%. sort of really get into introduced to drinking and like going out and it was just like the beginning of like sort of adulting yeah i feel like for me like i i was an only child growing up so and then when i went to i had a dorm in college but i never had like a fraternity house so like I was t- what 23, 24 in uh, the scuff house, and that was my first sense of like real like brotherhood. So, yeah, I'll always, I'll always love that house, and thank God we have all these damn videos, you know. Yeah, definitely a forever memory. Yeah, I'll never forget it. The best of times, the worst of times, <laughs> whole time. Me, sometimes there was always something going on. Though. <laughs> there was always something going on. Whole time that I was gone, like probably before quarantine, and like when I left. I couldn't bring myself to watch any of the old videos. Damn. That's how I felt, yeah. I couldn't watch any of them. And just when, when things started happening more on the upside here, Hector got Optic back yeah. and everything. I just, people would ask me about it and I would just deflect. Yeah. You know, because it would just make me so incredibly sad. Yeah. So. That's how. Like, I don't want it to be like that. Yeah, it's like a bittersweet because you know we're not gonna. Because there's still like some part of me that makes me want to like have that experience again of like, but I'm about to be 30 <laughs> yeah, exactly. I, I can't be gone, I can't I can't, like, <laughs> I can't I can't like have another house oh like this it's like how would that even work but yeah Will's got a kid I yeah, mean yeah. you got a fiance yeah I'm gonna have a kid <laughs> I'm gonna have a kid kind probably kind of soon oh, probably Damn. Mm. Uh, it was all sweet. Though. That really did like that. I house guess we got really, like shape. <laughs> yeah, we got course <laughs> of all of our lives. Like it, it really. It did. could have been so for all of us. It could have been so different without that place. If you if you guys went back, would you change anything? Yeah, I would have just been more consistent, grinded more, and yeah. did less bad stuff. I think that might <laughs> that might yeah, be one of the same. biggest like less lessons. drugs, more grind. It might yeah. be one of the biggest lessons I learned from that house is like. Now I like to appreciate, you know, everything that's happened at the current time. Like, like the hex quarters, you know, there's, there's remnants of it. There's me and Matt still, and Bruce are still there, but eventually the hex quarters is going to be gone. Yep. And like, I, I, I think I'll be able to cope with hex quarters not being around a lot better because every day that I showed up and something fun was happening, I like, was like, I like basked in it because yeah. I feel like I didn't do that at the scuff house. Yeah. And that's why yeah. it hit me so hard after. It now we can like, do it here. Now we do it here. Yeah, I regret, I regret, especially in like 2017 after my retirement, sort of being in like a boohoo mood. Yeah. Just waking up. I don't want to hang out with anyone. Be in my bed and shit. No. And it, it definitely taught me to like learn to live in those special moments. This could be a special moment, right? Like in like eight years, we could be like, damn, that office was pretty sick. Or like even though we like grew apart, yeah, still coming together every now and then. It will like, for sure. Time. It will be. Yeah. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching uh, another episode of the Inner Circle. Everybody, welcome Pamaj back. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.